I mention computer graphics, what do you think of? Tron? A favorite commercial. He's the working man. Forging dreams with fire. Maybe a video arcade game. Get him. Well, computer graphics is all this and more. Today's computer graphics are eye-dazzling, and the technology is breaking new ground daily. Recently, Seagraph, the special interest group for computer graphics, presented a two-day showcase and symposium at Art Center College of Design. In attendance was one of the outstanding pioneer innovators of computer graphics. Well, I'm John Whitney, and I'm not accustomed to being the keynote speaker, but I am here at this conference. And um, I've tried to uh, set a quality of optimism about all of this. Uh, because I am myself optimistic, I think that my, my one real, really important interest is, is in visual music. In the 50s, I began to uh, search for uh, and try to invent by myself a fluid design generating invention of some sort. And um, so by a kind of inadvertency, I backed into computers. Computer graphics are accused of being cold and impersonal. What do the experts say? Computer graphics is not cold and it's not impersonal. It's um, no more so than a pencil or a brush. The computer is the most personal tool ever conceived. If people have in the past resented the computer's uh, hardness, they're about to discover that it has this opposite side, uh, a freedom. Computer is, is just a lump of iron, basically, and it does what you tell it to. And so in some sense, it has to be personal because there's a person who's driving it. With computers, you can make images that seem absolutely real, even though they're completely synthetic. And they're trying to make pictures that seem as if they're photographs. But since they're not photographs, they can be anything. Indeed, the time may come when we can see all our favorite actors, but they won't be the real actors because they may be deceased. In fact, they'll be the simulations of the actors created by artists who paint their images and then animated by impersonation. In a sense, we do have this character called Adam Powers, which has been animated by Information International. And this is a guy, a little stuntman. Uh, this is the first generation, that's why they call him Adam, of the human simulated figure. However, he doesn't pass for real. Looks pretty good, but still like a little plastic doll. Tron. They said it will remind you of something you've never seen before. The movie lost money, yet it's considered a landmark film. Why? Tron was very successful in places where you could, where I'm not sure how many people noticed, but I've always loved special effects, and there are special effects in Tron. There are things that they did that were impossible to do. There are point of view shots where you're flying down a corridor, you spin out over an abyss, turn around, your lens is changing focal length and you're in another direction, you're pointing. It's all continuous, it's all smooth, and it's all real exciting. Tron's accomplishment was to use what was essentially a laboratory uh, demonstration and turn it into a real film. There weren't any major mathematical or programming techniques used in Tron that weren't understood five or six years ago. Presently, State of the Art is a company called Digital Productions, <laughs> headed by John Whitney, Jr. We are the first company in the city of Los Angeles to install the Cray 1S supercomputer. It's the most powerful computer in the world, which co uh, computes 100 million arithmetic operations per second. We uh, finished several weeks ago some very exciting material for Devo's new uh, United States tour in which we produced uh, digital scene simulation sequences for uh, a number of their hits on their new album. This gave us an idea. Can you imagine what the psychedelic 60s might have looked like with today's technology? And what about the future of computer graphics? Well, the experts tell us that within 10 years, we may be able to do photographic simulation for a reasonable cost on our home computers.
You know, we can say computers make that stuff, but so far at least, there's always a human at the helm. Thank <laughs> you.